So long story short, my camera battery is dead, as it always happens. And if I try to do it on the HD setting of my phone with the camera, it doesn't focus, so I look like a white blob. So hopefully this is good enough, at least you can see me. Here I am on my PC, Sickly Glory, and um, I was asked a couple of questions today, so I'm going to answer those. Maybe talk about some personal stuff for a second, and that's about it. Alright, so on Tumblr, I'm the GD Batman, <laughs> asked me, um, since Man of Steel is supposedly the first line of new DC movies, what do I want to see next? I would really like to see Superman and Batman probably team up a little bit. Um, I think that would maybe be a good place to start if they're going to go further with everything. I'd like to see Wonder Woman in the mix as well, but I know that she's taboo for some reason. We just can't figure out how to use her. I don't know how likely that is, but I would like to see like Batman and Superman team up. I don't think they were quite ready for the Justice League yet, just because we haven't seen more than Batman ever, really. Um, and now Superman. But yeah, I think we need to just take baby steps. We obviously, they're not going to be able to replicate what the Avengers did, which leads me to the next question, which is, who do I want to see in the next Avengers, Avengers 2? In a perfect world, like I've said before, I would love to see Carol show up in something, Carol Danvers, but I don't necessarily want her to show up in an Avengers movie. It's kind of that she's too important. She's earned her own movie, in my opinion. So, but if I had to settle for that, I would pick her. I'd also love to see, obviously, Spider-Woman, but that's never going to happen. But it should happen because they can't have fucking Spider-Man anyway. So let's just throw in my lady instead. Um, so selfishly, that's who I'd like to see. I'm happy to see that Scarlet Witch is in there somewhere, although I don't really like the casting rumors. I think it's a poor choice. But yeah, off the top of my head, just my favorites because I'm selfish like that. I don't really know who else I'd want to see, honestly. I've kind of covered all the ones that I would have liked to see already, so. Who I don't want to see is Loki, and he's not in it, so I'm very thrilled about that, because I'm really tired of him. I am not a Tom Hiddleston fangirl at all, so happy to see him go. No offense people that like him, but you still have Thor, so you're fine. <laughs> so I haven't addressed this before in a video, so I'm going to touch on this. I love the crow. I love the Chrome one than pretty much anything. Um, it has its problems, so it's not perfect, but in a general sense, I love the Chrome. I love Brennan Lee. It's such a freaking tragedy that he lost his life during the filming of the movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, I really, really, really recommend it. It's not for everyone. You kind of have to be into like gothic romance and like revenge and stuff, but it's very sweet and uh, lovely. So I recommend that. But here's the thing. It's not a movie that should have been touched. Not only because of the circumstances, but because from the very beginning of filming, it was like a cursed set. It was not good. Um, I think sometimes when you deal with that subject matter, obviously there might be some like negative stuff involved, like negative energy or whatever. Now they're remaking it with some guy I've never heard of, he's English, and um, well, I'm grateful that they picked an unknown because you really can't put like a well-known actor into the role of the crow and not piss off a lot of people. I think it's super disrespectful that they would remake a movie where someone lost their life in the creation of it, you know? And it's such a thing, it was such a personal movie because the romance between Shelley and Eric was based on the romance between Brandon and Eliza. And so it's the personal touches that made that film so special and so perfect and I don't think it's something that can be replicated. I'm really tired of seeing Hollywood think, let's make some money and like remake this movie that's this huge cult phenomena and like incredible. I just think it's, it's complete bullshit and I'm really pissed off. I'm really pissed off what happens when I'm angry. So I'm not looking forward to that. I hope it falls through because I'm a terrible person. But um, yeah, if you haven't seen The Crow, you should. I just watched it last night, so that's what made me think about it. Um, so yeah, I'm not looking forward to that remake. I think it's super disrespectful and I'm just not at all looking forward to it. That's that. It's my other nerd rant. If you like The Crow, let me know what you thought and what you think about them recasting it. Like, are you okay with it? Do you want to see another in interpretation of it? Do you think that they didn't get the graphic novel right? Let me know. Also, if you're ever wondering, I have a horrible scar on my eyebrow, so if I ever look really weird, it's just because of that. <laughs> my brother hit me in the face with a metal golf club when I was five or six, and uh, it was pretty bad. I had to have about 12 stitches or something, like a huge gash. I looked like Quasimodo, literally. Um, but I had a plastic surgeon, I think my dad looked for one to make sure that my face wasn't wrecked, and without the plastic surgeon it would look a lot worse than it does. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Please ignore the fact that my face is fucked up on one side. It just is what it is. It has character, right? Maybe I look kind of like a badass. On other personal topics, um, I am always looking for a job. As I mentioned before, I worked at a financial institution for about three years. Um, people are terrible at the bank. People are very rude when it comes to money. And uh, so I wanted out because I just couldn't take it anymore. So I'm looking for kind of a simple job and uh, I was trying to be a cashier at Home Depot <laughs> because people that buy like tools are pretty happy and usually they're just like older gentlemen so they won't be mean to me. Usually older men are nicer to younger girls. So I had an interview, it was successful and apparently my references turned out well but um, I kind of missed the second interview yesterday. They called me and said to come down but I missed the call and I haven't been able to get a hold of them so I hope uh, it works out in the end. Look how white I am. On another personal note, there's some teen angst for you, not a teenager, but here's some teen angst. So I was madly in love with this boy like three years ago, I guess. We were together for almost three years. And I always thought that he was like my soulmate, but we just weren't working out, and so we broke up, and it was very traumatic. It's not done in a good way. And now we haven't talked for about three years, because I was in a relationship previously to a douchebag, and then um, I decided I didn't want to talk to him because I don't like to have negative stuff in my life. And I also don't really like to talk to exes. I think that it's kind of pointless and useless. And I don't want to be their friends because I'm always going to love them a little bit. So, like, next week <laughs> to see me, which is really stressful because I'm not friends with exes. And I haven't literally laid eyes on him since um, we broke up. I haven't even heard his voice. Like, we haven't talked on the phone or anything. It's just an email. So I'm really kind of worried about that. I also don't know what the motives are. Like... I don't know why you would suddenly want to be my friend. He's that kind of person, I guess. Like, everyone has to like him, so maybe he just wants to get on my good side, or... Or, like, you know, really, I think he probably just feels regret, because he was kind of an asshole. When we broke up, maybe he's realizing that he screwed something up that was good. I mean, I just don't know. But he's not going to come out and tell me, because he's, like, this... cold, shelled-off person, I suppose. So I'm kind of stressed out and I don't really know what to do because I do want to see him. I'm like living up in this small hick town in isolation so seeing someone that I know and then I spent a lot of time with and that was my best friend for a while would be nice. But at the same time it's going to be really weird sharing the roof with that person and like just seeing them because you never know how you're going to react when you see someone. Like are you going to feel completely different and not like them or are you going to have like all the feelings rush back because I haven't seen him right so I don't know how I'm going to react. That's my girl angst drama this week. But yeah, otherwise, I don't really know what else to talk about. I answered two questions, someone else answer, asked me questions. So if you ever have any questions to ask me, then please like send them a YouTube message, or if you follow me on Tumblr, then do that, or if you follow me on Twitter, at Fox, then you can ask me questions. Let me know, basically, what you're looking for after Men of Steel who you want to see in an, in an Avengers movie, and about The Crow, I guess. What's your opinion on them remaking a classic, well-thought-of, generally adored film? And do you have any male advice for me? I don't know. That's, that's all I can think of. But anyway, thank you for watching and my glowing glory and my whiteness. I apologize again that it's not, like, HD, but I fail at life. So, next time, hopefully. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you're having a lovely week and that you'll have a lovely weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Oh god.